everybody I'm back with another video um, this video is gonna be different than all my other videos it's not gonna be a review or a rewatch review video um, I've actually been planning this one for a long time though I was gonna wait till we got closer to the finale and until I got caught up on everything you know that was going on um, but I'm all caught up now and the finale is tomorrow guys when I film this I think I'm gonna try to post it today. It's going to be tomorrow. Um, crazy. I cannot believe it. I'm still kind of in shock. Um, I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I just got a text message. But um, it's just like surreal. Like I can't almost believe it. I can't wrap my head around it. Um, and I keep trying to say like, this is it. This is like, the last day before the finale. I've been trying to like live it up the past couple of days. Like we have got all these things left before it's over for good. So we've just got to like live it up before we're in an agents of shieldless world. So I've just been like, posting more stuff to Twitter, um, making, you know, more, more edits and stuff and wanting to make more videos like this and just do as much as I can, um, to just celebrate the show and just to live it up in this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. world um, while I still can, basically. Um, but this episode is going to be a little different. Um, it's going to be a discussion about all my, all the memories that I've had with this show through the years and um, how much it's meant to me and just, yeah, and then I think tomorrow after the show, um, I'm going to go upstairs while the emotions are fresh. I'm probably going to be bawling, y'all. I just want y'all to know that I'll probably be really, like, hard to talk, um, crying pretty dang hard. Um, and I've already cried. Like, I was watching Chloe's video that she just posted of her reading the script and um, for the first time and crying and, like, just, and I was just like, that's so me. And I just didn't have to think about it. I just started crying, like, hard, pretty hard. Um... But yeah, it's just really weird to me. But let's go back and let's talk about the good things and the good memories that I've had with this show. Um, so when the show first came on in 2013, like I said, I was 14 years old. I had just turned 14. And um, I remember my dad and my brother telling me about it because, you know, we, we love Marvel. And um, we had gotten into it with my aunt a couple years prior. Um, we watched Captain America with her and that set me off on my Marvel nerd herd adventure. Um, I just, just loved it immediately after I watched that movie. I was like obsessed. Um, and I watched it, the Avengers and everything and I loved it all. But um, with the show when it was coming on and my dad and my brother were telling me about it, I thought that it was gonna be like, you know, just like more of like a guy show, like, oh, you know, they're gonna be like on a mission and stuff. And mind you, I was 14 years old, so I didn't know much about um, primetime television. I was basically at that point into um, Disney Channel still. So, and like Nickelodeon and all that. I really am telling you right now, this, those, um, this show and another show called The Blacklist, those were like the two, one of the two first shows that I ever watched that were like real primetime TV. Um, so it makes it even sadder. But, so I was like, I don't know, you know, I don't know about it. Um, then a couple episodes in, it was about, I think it was the episode with the Thor tie-in. I watched and I saw how they tied into the movie and I was like, that's it. I mean, just one episode, I watched it and I was obsessed, y'all. I loved it. Um, I loved that Coulson was in it. I loved all the characters. Um, immediately, I was drawn to like Skye's character because, oh my gosh, she had such mystery and she had such a sad past and now she was making something of herself. I just thought were so like inspirational so cool and I just loved bits and simmons I thought they were so cute and adorable obviously I told you I loved Coulson before I, I you know I immediately loved May I loved her stoic personality she was funny you know um I loved her relationship with Coulson immediately I just watched one episode and I just immediately was obsessed and obviously uh, I watched all the episodes prior and just got caught up on everything and then from there on, it was just a love, a love that just was created between me and that show. Um, and we watched every Tuesday night. I remember it came on Tuesday nights. I didn't even have to look it up. I just remembered 
Tuesday nights it came on and I remember getting home from school. I remember I would think about it all day on Tuesdays. So I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? I was in, uh, I think I was in eighth grade. And I remember just thinking, oh, it's going to happen. I just can't wait to get home and watch it. Um, season one was in so amazing. And then season two, oh my gosh, when I tell y'all this, this child, I was absolutely obsessed with especially season two. Like the mystery about Skye and like the powers that she got. Oh, this Marvel nerd came out, I mean, in me. And I was just obsessed. Um, I even got a Twitter, I think solely for the purpose. My, I think I got my Twitter solely for the purpose of, you know, getting caught up and like with the other fans and everything and like tweeting the cast. Like I, my first tweet, this is like one of my favorite memories of the show. My first ever tweet on Twitter, um, I sent a picture of my new dog, Maggie May. I named her um, May after obviously May. And um, I uh, sent a picture of her to Ming Na Wen and she retweeted me. That was my first tweet, y'all. And she retweeted me and said, because I said, you know, her name's Maggie May, can you guess why? And I tagged her and she said, because she's so cute and cuddly, like a Agent May or something like that. And I'll, pu I'll put the picture of that up um, somewhere. And I'll also, and I'll post other pictures of like the different memories and things that I just, you know, that I discuss here. But um, that was a huge one. I remember when season one was ending and uh, Captain America, the Winter Soldier came out. And of course we went to watch it like immediately with my brother and sister. And I remember seeing prior like um, all these posts from the account. With, mind you, I told you I got Twitter for that reason. At that point I didn't have Twitter, but I would go on the account and I would on, on their account on the web and see what all they had said. So then I was like, I really want a Twitter and I got one. But I was seeing all these things like, it's all connected. Make sure you watch Winter Soldier before you watch the next episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You're going to get spoiled on both. And I was just like, what? And they're like, you've got to just do it. And like, it's all connected. It's all connected. Hashtag, it's all connected everywhere. And I was obsessed with that. I tell y'all, I was so excited to watch that Captain America. And I was already excited, but I was so excited to watch Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Because, um of all that and I, I mean I just remember thinking what's gonna happen what is gonna happen and so we went and the whole time you know I love Captain America and I was enjoying it but I was also the whole time in the back of my mind saying how is this gonna affect the team what's gonna what's this big thing that's gonna happen that's gonna like change everything and then we got done obviously at the very end I was like my mouth was open and I was looking I mean I, I think I was still yeah I was still 14 at this time because it was like the spring of that year so you know there's this 14 year old girl I'm like what in the heck? And I remember looking at my family and we just were all just like shocked. We did not know what was going to happen with the show because it's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And S.H.I.E.L.D. we just watched collapsed and there's Hydra everywhere and like S.H.I.E.L.D.'s been like destroyed basically. So what is going to happen? Like we could not believe. And we were so excited to watch the show. So I'm really, really excited and I remember I was so scared for all the characters. I was like, what's going to happen? Are they going to be okay? Like. I remember just, I have a very vivid memory of just being in the car after the movie was over and looking at my phone just like looking at all the everybody tweeting and like oh my gosh oh my gosh and all the news articles and getting all caught up and just and just like looking at my mom and I think we were stopped at a gas station somewhere after we went to, to the movie theaters and I remember just you know we just discussing like oh my gosh what is gonna happen and like we were all just like so shocked so excited like I think my dad was like, oh my gosh, this is like the biggest thing like ever like went for TV and like movies to like connect like this. I'm just mind blowing. So we watched the show obviously um, that next week. Could not believe how good it was. Y'all, the connection, like even like the timeline of all the events that was going on. Perfect. It was so good. We could not believe. We, it was like the best thing on TV that we had all seen like. Um, that just the connection there um, and I remember I got even more obsessed that was possible at that point then obviously season two came and I was obsessed like I told y'all and I told you know me no when of my new dogs we named our dog May um, Maggie May was her name and I remember a lot of people in the comments because um, you know I, I couldn't believe it I'd never seen so many people respond to me because I was getting retweet retweet like comment reply on like um my my tw my twitter my post and it was my first post on twitter i was 14 and i just could not believe the amount of people that were liking my tweet retweeting me commenting back to me and i remember they said 
um, oh, like the Rod Stewart song, like Maggie May. And I was like, no, we, no, we named her after Maggie from The Walking Dead and May from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I didn't even know who Rod Stewart was. And then I told my mom and my dad and they thought it was so funny because they knew. And uh, we didn't even, we hadn't literally did not think about that at all. Um, but so that was amazing. And I was just, I loved Ming Na Wen so much. Um, and I just could not believe, like not only was she Agent May, which, but also, hello, she also is Mulan. That's, all, that's another part of my childhood. This woman here has been such a big part of my childhood. Mulan, the first part of my, you know, and then 14 on, she was me, she was May. Um, Mama May, as I call her. So I was just starstruck there. And then I remember I would tweet them every so often. And then um, whenever May's dad came on the show, I immediately recognized that is the, um, the guy with the mustache from Mulan. And I was like, oh my God, I, I just heard his voice and it was him. And it was so crazy because if you close your eyes, I did it, I closed my eyes and I was like, mom, look, it's just like Mulan. Like, if you didn't, if you weren't watching that it was May and her dad, it just sounded just like you were watching Mulan with her voice and his together. So cool. So I immediately went on Twitter and I posted, I said, oh my gosh, Mulan reunion. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I have a screenshot of this one, but I'm pretty sure she responded and said, um, Oh my gosh, Mulan reunion on tonight at, at hashtag Agency Shield. And there was, it was again, another thing from her. I, and I remember, could not believe. Um, another shock, another starstruck moment. No matter how many times, still starstruck every time. Um, so that was just, that was a big moment for me. Um, and then another time in season three when Sky got her haircut. It was that cute little, y'all remember it, that cute little, um, look her short her short hair look and I, I can't remember the technical term for it but it's like a a lob like a longer yeah lob I think and I remember um, I wanted to get my hair cut we're gonna get my hair cut and I remember um, when we say we're gonna get a lob I was immediately like oh my gosh we're gonna get it like sky at that point I am called her sky so I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get a lob cut like sky and I was just so excited and I remember uh, when I got it um, we took pictures but I'm, I'll try to find them I don't know if I'll be able to but I do have pictures of the short haircut, but I'll try to find pictures of this because I also took pictures of me like in the shadow of, of my old house that we used to live in, which is another big thing because we used to watch all the time the house that I grew up in. So that was huge too. Um, memories there with that house, watching with my family. But on the wall of my old house, um, I had my hand out like this, you know how she does her powers. And um, I was standing straight, and with my haircut, I looked like, I, I thought I just looked so much like Sky, and my brother did too, and we thought it was so cool, and we took pictures of me, and um, I don't know, I'll have to look and see if I can find it, but if not, I will post a picture of the haircut that I had, because I do have pictures of that, but yeah, that was my Sky cut for so long, and I just loved it. Um, and... So that's another memory. Obviously, every time a movie came out, we would, we would just anxiously wait. Um, and it's crazy because obviously I love the movies, but the show, I'm obsessed with the movies, obviously. But, you know, we watched the show so much every week for so long that the show almost started to mean more. I mean, it did. It just did. And um, so when a new movie was coming out, I would almost be more excited about what's going to be the connection of the movie and our show? Like, how are they going to connect the two? Because each time they did, it was just so cool to me to watch. Um, the season two one with Raina, um, you know, predicting the Age of Ultron. Oh, so good. Um, the Sokovia Accords. How they fit that in. So cool. Theta Protocol, where Coulson rebuild the you know, the helicarrier for the Avengers, and, and then whenever Colson, and this is the coolest thing I remember in the movie, the thing, they just referenced the show, like, just wanted to scream, like, oh my gosh, they finally did it, because in Age of Ultron, um, they, uh, Fury said, um, when the, the helicarrier, her, helicarrier came, he said, um, we got this fixed up with the help of our, um, with the help of some old friends, and I was like, old friends is Colson, and the team, and I was just like, Oh, I just thought it was so cool. Um, and then we saw Coulson was the one that gave them the, the uh, location of the base, Strucker's location, where the Avengers went. Oh, so cool. And then, and later on in the movie, whenever, um, I think it was Iron Man, yeah, Iron Man said, 
oh, you're not, the, you're, my, you're not my director or something like that. And he said, um, I'm not the director of anything anymore. And because he wasn't, because now Coulson was the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. So they couldn't say that. They couldn't say that he was because he wasn't at that point. Coulson was. So, again, so cool. Um, I thought that was just the neatest thing that they, oh, my gosh, they finally sort of referenced them. Um, but that was just another memory there. Like I said, all the times we watched at my old house, all the memories all, of every Tuesday night, going in, you know, and watching it, I curled up on my old couch that I used to sleep on all the time, and just like with my blanket, and my mom, my dad, and my brother, and um, we were so we were so little and young. Cause I don't care what y'all say, but 14, like at my age now, like you know, a lot of 14 year olds think they're so grown up. You are not. You are a literal infant. You have so much more growing to do. Like when I look back on those memories now, I think, oh my gosh, I was an actual baby, and um, and I just and I just remember watching it, the house that I grew up in, all together, and just being so happy every time it came on, and just thinking of all the theories and talking about it with my mom, my dad, and this show is really one of the first shows that, um, like I told you, was one of the first primetime shows that I watched, but it was what one of the shows that really got me into TV and just um, loving watching it and just wanting like my dream job and I realized it while watching all these shows was that um it would be to write for television for sure um and obviously it's it's a dream so it probably will never happen but it is my dream job and it came from that and just the love that I had for like shows like Marvels and that's what we called it that's what I remember we we didn't ever call it Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. back in the day we just called it Marvels and we said we're gonna watch Marvels tonight Oh, you know, when we send each other texts and um, gifts and how excited we were. Um, and then, oh, for New Year's um, one year, uh, this is another cute memory. Um, I really wanted a Colson Pop vinyl, and my dad got it for me, and he called it our New Year's, my New Year's present. And I remember I opened it up on New Year's, and I was so excited, and it was so cute, and he had a little, like, bobblehead. And um, we actually have him downstairs now for the finale um, by our TV, like our little mascot. But I'm really so excited, and I, I remember I went home and I put them up special, and um, it was just so sweet of my dad and my mom too to get me that. Ugh. It just makes me so emotional thinking about all these memories because it's gonna be over tomorrow. But it also makes me so happy because I feel like I'm seeing like a smile on my face because it's precious memories for me. Um, and also the show helped me through a lot. Like um, I have OCD which um it can cause me to obsess which is probably one of the reasons why i obsess over tv shows tv so much but um and it just it's really like it's really hard disorder to have and um you know i went through that in high school and and, and um in middle school and high school and you know watching that show um always made me feel better um it was like an escape kind of even though i had an amazing life like y'all my, my life has always been so great just also though to get the escape from like real life and just you know live through the agents and go on the missions with them and oh so much fun y'all um and and you know these characters that I love so much the memories that I have with all of them like just watching them um and watching them like develop and grow um and I, I love all the characters so much like, they're all some of my favorite characters ever on tv my two top favorites I think would have to be um i love them all like i said but colson and sky um i just think that their developments throughout the show is so cool and like colson's like the best character ever he's like so loyal he's so strong and he's brave and he's just this amazing character this the best heart he's hilarious he's funny he's relatable he's just like all these things in one and he and he's just like the best guy the best character I mean, my dad were just talking about it the other day. Like he said, Colson has to be like one of the best characters ever on TV. And we got my daughter Maggie, and um, and uh, I guess it was spring of 2015. Um, we got her. We named her May, Maggie May, after her. Um, and then right now when we're watching it, we're rewatching all these seasons, and you know, like falling in love with it again. And my dad said, I just like Colson so much. We gotta name our next dog Colson. Like, we got to. And then I, I thought that'd be so sweet because, you know, we have Maggie May still. She's still around. And I can put a picture of her there and a picture of her now. Like, she's grown so much. So I just, since that's just another thing from the show, how, you know, we got that dog. We named her that. Um, just so many things. So many amazing memories we've had. Um, 
I think I've talked about a lot of them and you are probably bored of hearing about all my memories now, but I just really wanted to share them with you all and I'd love to hear all the memories that you have with this show and um, all the moments that you'll never forget. I'd love to hear them and I'd love to um, just talk to you guys. So um, please just comment in the section down below. Tell me all your memories of the show, how old you were when it started and how old you are now, um, how you've changed. Um, what all the characters have meant to you, what all the show has meant to you, just please comment down below. And um, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in another video that I'm going to film. Um, the thank you video after the finale comes out, and then I will be posting my season 7 review video. And also, I think I'm going to post a series review video, um, which I'm going to be crying in, no doubt. But um, just to just review the entire series in, its, in, in the whole, I think that'd be really cool. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Good luck on the finale tomorrow. <laughs> We're all going to need it.